Hi there, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a new album to share with you, altered in two different ways. This is our concertina album, and if I stand them up, you can see we've got a six pocket one and a 12 pocket one. Six pocket one has been altered in papers from the House of Roses collection by Stamperia, and the 12 pocket one has been altered in papers from the Fashion Forward collection by Graphic 45. There's a full PDF tutorial that goes with this two styles of album and includes full cutting guide to cut chipboard covers for your album as well. And I'll put the link to that in the description below the video. So let me take you through the albums. We'll start with the six pocket one. And of course, it's all about roses. So beautiful pink, soft colours, lots of florals. And it's a really, really gorgeous collection to craft with. I've just taken some elements from the collection, layered them up on the front over one of the cutouts and then added um, a silver clock key and a corner. I think the clock key was Graphic 45 and this was just in my stash just to, to sort of layer up the cover. There's a ribbon tie at the top. And then once you open that, the album folds out. And then I've decorated the back with paper as well. And inside, in the six pockets, are six inserts. So let's take those out. And there you can see that nice, deep concertina pocket section that you could put anything in. But I've created three different styles of insert. So the first one is just a flap insert. It can be opened upwards like that, or when you take it out of the pockets, sideways. Three flat surfaces to put photos on, and then a little niche there to slide in your picture or ephemera and again and four flat surfaces if you count that one too so there are two of those i'll show you the other one actually so i've taken the same sheet of paper to decorate both of them we've got a little round tab at the top as well i love that that actually was the top of one of the sheets of paper. I love all those gorgeous roses. I thought that worked really well on those two areas. And then the gorgeous bird on the back. So let's slide the little photo mat in. And then we've got side opening pockets, two of these. They've got a magnetic closure on them and they open out to give you lots of space to add things onto each of the surfaces. I've taken the cutouts from the collection and just made a little journaling card and a tag in that pocket. And of course, we all like to fill things up. This does have a magnetic closure, but if you like to put lots of things inside your pockets, you could always create a ribbon closure and tie them up once you've filled them just like that to keep them closed so that they fit back in the album but I knew I wouldn't be able to tie this my ribbon's not very long but really easy to create just loose fitting closures for your pockets so that you can put as much as you like inside them. So there are two of those. I'll just show you the other one. This one's got that gorgeous rose on. Little pockets on the front there. And then it just folds out to give you lots of area to put in your favourite memories. And then two top opening pockets. They're all the same size, all five by seven. 
This one's got a couple of things just in the middle. A lovely cutout from the paper and another little journaling spot. And then the other one, I've used the tiles paper. That is just, I love that. And this one I've sort of secured down the pocket, or that flap at the bottom to make a pocket. Just popped a few things into there. Two of the cutouts from the paper and one of the larger pictures. And then made the last of the cutout, the round cutouts, into another journaling spot that just sits up there. Oh, and then a little paper clip just to hold a picture on the side there. So those are the three style inserts and they all drop really neatly into the pockets in the album. So a really fun album. It took about two pads of paper to decorate it because of the inserts and the area that you're covering on each of those inserts, especially when you get to the fold out ones. So two pads of paper would be about 16 to 20 sheets of paper, depending on how many embellishments you're adding as well, to decorate this six pocket version. So now on to the 12 pocket version. This one is altered in papers from the Fashion Forward collection by Graphic 45. And I've taken the October paper as uh, my cover. I love everything October, everything Halloween. I'm almost a Halloween baby. I think that must be why. So we've got that lovely picture, beautiful colours. And the lovely border. I just love the purples and oranges and greens together. And then this has a band that holds the album closed. It just slides off and slides on and it hooks under the picture at the top because when this album is assembled, it's deeper than the six pocket version. So if we slide that off, then we can open the album and it's really hard to see it on here, but it really does open like a concertina. I love it, absolutely love it. And in here are the 12 pockets, one style of insert. So the PDF tutorial that goes with this gives you everything, all the information you need and video assembly guides to make the 12 pocket version. But it also gives you all of the instructions to make the fashion forward calendar version that I'm showing you now. So let's take you through the inserts in here. Let's take them all out. So this is one style of insert made 12 times, decorated with each of the papers for the months. So this album just has insert a, that one that just lifts up, and it was great to decorate it with this collection because two sheets, you get two sheets for each of the months, was just enough. There was half a sheet left to cover the entire pocket or insert front and back. So January we've got the lovely banner at the top. You are beautiful, that gorgeous cutout. And then the calendar section fits in the pocket on the insert. We've got Happy New Year up here, all the blue and purple flowers, nice little border strip. And then the picture fits perfectly under the tuck spot there. And then the blue on the back. So that one was January. February, we've gone pink and green, lovely snowdrops. And then the calendar section at the top. It's upside down. Let's turn it round. Little cut out there. And the picture. I love them. It just turned out perfectly. 
So if you really like the fashion forward version of the 12 Pocket album, then all of the instructions on how to make the concertina album and then how to cut the papers to create your calendar version of the project are all in the PDF with videos. I love this. On Teal Tastic on the background with the lovely florals. And April, really bright, lovely purple. I think this is my favourite paper, that iris. Lovely cut out. And then the pocket and the picture inside with the calendar insert. So I'm just going to fast forward so you can see all of these inserts and catch up again when we get to the last one. And that's it. That is all 12 of the inserts. So a really fun way to change the standard concertina album into a calendar album and create, maybe for Valentine's, 12, 12 Reasons Why I Love You album or a yearbook. One picture, one favourite thing from every month that you put together that happened to you or happened to your family or that you were involved in. There's so many things that you can make into an album that has 12 inserts in. So if you'd like to make the project yourself, I'll put the link to the PDF in the description below the video, along with a link to the bundles to make each of the albums. So we've got a bundle for the six pocket album and a bundle for the 12 pocket. This one comes with magnets, ribbon, card, chipboard, and then you get your free PDF with it. This one comes with everything except magnets and ribbon because we don't use them in this one. And if you buy the Fashion Forward Collection Pack, you'll also get a free PDF tutorial. So I'll put links to everything below and if you do buy them, enjoy making your concertina album. Thanks very much for watching. I hope I've inspired you to be creative. Do give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel and then you'll be kept up to date with new products and projects as they come out. Thanks for watching.